Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I am here today to do the hashtag color combo 2023 challenge with you guys. Um, this challenge was started by Tammy at Lou Fru Fru Studio and there's a link in the description box below this video if you'd like to pop over there and see what she's up to. Um, essentially each month she does a uh, color she picks a color to study and this month is brown and so then she adds another color each week to the main color um, to give you the color combo and um, you're to make some type of art piece using the two colors from the combo for that week so this week is coffee brown and pink and so I have lots of little bits that are like pink and I've got some Tim Holtz people and we're going to make, um, I've got some fabric and all kinds of junk, but anyway, these little stickers again, these, they're actually meant to be business cards, um, that are kind of perforated right there. So I just end up cutting them apart and turning them into little, um, like stickers, you know, to use on journal pages. See, this is one that I've cut apart and it's not perfect, but I can fix it, um, you know, when I stick it to whatever page that I want to stick it to. This is one of the little collagey ones I've done in the past. And we're going to do something kind of like this. Uh, we're not going to use watercolor. We're going to use coffee to get our color. So I'm just going to grab one of these out and I'm not going to worry about cutting these ones apart just because I'm going to use coffee on all of them. So some of them might be oriented um, long way. Some might be oriented the other way. I don't know yet. I just am going to put some coffee on here. <laughs> so what's in this bottle? And I use the squeeze bottle sometimes, but it's coffee. I did add just a little bit of that um, instant tea just because it'll darken it up even more. So I've put some of that in there. And then um, I always put a little bit, just a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And the reason I do that, not for any other purpose than so that it won't um, like mold, you know, as fast. So anyway, it's it lasts as long as I've, I mean, I've used up whole things of it before. So it definitely lasts when you do the whole um, rubbing alcohol in there. So I'm going to put a little down and then I'm going to add a little more in some places and some places I'll just leave it real light, like a light coffee dye. But I do want to have some spots that are quite a bit darker. So how you all doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a good day. Um, sorry, no video yesterday. I On Wednesday, it was my birthday and my daughter came to hang out with me all day and so we went to like Hobby Lobby because I got a gift card from my mother-in-law for Hobby Lobby and um just had lunch and chatted she made me a cheesecake sweet sweet girl um, my sister gave her a cheesecake pan and a cheesecake recipe that was my mom's and so I told her kind of jokingly when I gave it to her because my sister had brought it over here first to our house because she knew that I would see Aiden maybe before she did but anyway um I said make me a cheesecake for my birthday and I <laughs> had forgotten about that until she brought it over yesterday and I was like oh my gosh and then my husband last night brought me home this beautiful um chocolate cake there's a lady that he works with and my husband had made her husband some um 3D printed items, you know, that he had wanted. And so it was kind of like a trade. So she made me a cake. Oh my gosh, it was just the most beautiful cake. I uh, posted a picture of it on um, Facebook if you want to see what it looked like, but it was just beautiful. So now I have <laughs> a chocolate cake and a cheesecake. I think I'm going to freeze, uh, try to freeze some of, some of it because it's a lot, let me just say especially because uh, we try not to eat dessert. <laughs> and that's just a real lot. So uh, we're going to, I'm going to try to freeze some and see how that goes. But so sweet of both of them. Oh my goodness. But so it was just, it was a lovely birthday. And my husband and I went and had a very nice dinner at one of my favorite um, Mexican restaurants last night. It's fabulous, 
and it did not disappoint. Wonderful carne asada tacos, and they have lots of other good tacos too. All right, so I think I'll get these dry, and if I think it needs more in some spots, I'll add more. Um, but you guys get the idea. I'm using coffee for my coffee brown. I, there's other pieces that I have that have a little coffee in them, so it's not like the only brown, but it's going to be most of the brown. So I will be Okie right dokie. I am back, and it's all dry. Ow, I just burnt myself on my heat gun. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I used just a little bit of this Distress Oxide once I got them partially dry. They weren't uh, very dark, which is pretty normal when you're coffee or tea dyeing. Um, so I just did one little dot of the Distress Oxide um, reinker and used my paintbrush in the same exact way that I showed you with the coffee and just did some spots that were a little bit darker just to get that little bit more of an exaggerated uh, coffee brown color. And then I um, dunked the bottom of this and then went around and made these circles. So I did do that without you and I'm sorry, but it's this whole turning the camera on and off and on and off and on and off thing. So I think what I'm going to start with is I want to use this mushroom because it's a lovely color of brown. I don't know which one of these I want to use it on, but, um, and then with pink, just because I feel like that's something kind of different mushrooms with pink, right? <laughs> don't normally do that. So this was in, I believe I got it out of the botanical sticker book um it's this one the botanist sticker anthology and you can get that on amazon oh the, you know what we need to do i want to do a little bit of stamping in the background kind of like we've been doing i mean this isn't a huge leap from where we've been uh playing with different um sort of clusters or um you know doing the watercolor in that it's not it's not going to be a whole big difference from that but uh i just think it's fun to do so yeah i hope you guys are all doing good having nice weather i don't know we're having very kooky weather it's like one day it's hot like today it's all cloudy and could rain i don't know it's not that cold that's good that's new <laughs> compared to what we did have going on. But um, yeah, just weird, weird, weird. I mean, kind of normal for this time of year. Spring's always just strange. And I do remember like, gosh, ages ago, Theron was just a little guy. It was when we first moved here and there's a, like a community swimming pool. And um, he was dying to have his birthday party there and his birthday's in June. So it was like, oh yeah, we can definitely do that, you know, and literally snowed the day of his birthday. <laughs> it was like, what? So it does happen. And that was, oh my gosh, probably 14 years ago or something. So yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. But... I don't remember what we did. I think we just ended up having like an indoor birthday because of the weather. But most of his birthdays, he's gotten to do some pretty fun stuff because he's got that summery sort of birthday. Aiden's always have to be indoors. She's, she's February baby gonna put some dots but yeah as he got older he'd you know make comments like it never snows this late when it was like you know April or something and it's like uh yeah when you're on your your birthday it snowed so it happens Definitely does. Okay, I think that'll be good. I don't want to like cover the whole thing. I just want some little spots where there's some interest. Got uh, stuff on my hands. Thinking it might be fun to have 
one of these maybe with the mushroom. This is um, Tim Holtz stamps on avocado dye paper. I'm gonna kind of mess this up a little bit. So yeah, just thought we'd play around with these today. These are just really fun to make. I highly recommend, especially if you're just starting out because all this stuff is, um, you know, newer stuff, but you can make it look like it's old stuff, excuse me. So that's kind of fun to do. I think that'd be kind of good back there. This is just a little scrappy piece that I got with some stuff from Amazon, but you could just as easily use like a little piece of newspaper or, uh, what you call it book page doesn't have to even be old because that's not old it's new because I know the older stuff is getting harder and harder to find but there's lots of companies now that are making uh, new stuff that looks like it's old vintagey stuff and like I said you know you use enough Tim Holtz ink and distress oxide and you can make a dollar store book look old so don't have to use expensive stuff you can, what I did, my first journal, I even took some images out of like National Geographic and I sandpapered them and then added um, ink, you know, distress oxide and stuff like that. And that works great too. There's a lot of things you can do if you, if you want to, you know, you can take used tissue paper like for birthday gifts or whatever you can stamp on it ink it coffee dye it do all kinds of things to that and make it look older so there's definitely ways without spending a lot of money or like trying to find a bunch of antiques because I know it's really hard because I even go look well in our area we just don't have a lot of great places for that I'm adding glue because these stickers from that, those books just don't stick. I don't know why. <laughs> They're like barely sticky. They're worse than washi. So I always add glue to them because I want them to stay. So that's a little bit different, right? I might add this little doodad up here. Do I want it up there? Yeah, maybe. It kind of tucks right under. That's just a little Tim Holtz. I don't even know what they are. It's just a whole bunch of little, like, scientific labels and stuff. So none of this right here is old. It's all new. I'm going to kind of put it at a, a turn so the letters aren't totally straight up and down. Okay. So there's one. And then see what I'll do, even though this is all one piece, I'll just cut across there and that'll work. Let's do also, because I like to do this, but you don't have to, you do it the way you like it. Just an idea to throw out there. I like to take my little fine line and this one's 0.5, this one's just master's touch graphic needle drawing it says I don't know fine fine lines you know just add some little sprigs of like grass because it's mushy 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 and then you can also kind of go around now that you're going to need to be careful on that mushroom because it's a little bit glossy so you're going to really have to watch and let that dry and then you guys know I like to do this because I've been doing this lately going with a little frame around it. But again, don't have to. You could leave it just the way it was if that's the way you want it. Just some of these touches are kind of fun and they add a little more to your piece. Okay, there's that one. The next one, what should we do? I like these pink stamps. Are those kind of fun? Those were in um, the goodies that I got from my friend after her mom passed. 
That's just a lady. I don't know. She looks like she's looking off to the horizon or something. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Honestly, no idea. But these are kind of just fun because you can just add whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. I kind of like this circle right there. So maybe I want to do like something more like that and maybe leave some of the brown. You don't have to make them real thick, you know, like um, it's kind of nice to have these thinner pieces to add to pages. Or you can add these onto other ephemera is the other thing that I wanted to say. So you don't even have to use the whole thing if you don't want to. If you're going to add it like to a piece of ephemera, you could just, um, you could cut it the size you want it. And I just want some book page here. Maybe just a little something like that. Oh, we could put a little piece of fabric maybe. So I don't know if we'll get through all these, but they are fun to do in bigger lots like that because then you can get lots of variation. Maybe we want that down there. I don't know. I feel like it still needs something. I like the idea of having a little bit less, but oh, I wonder about... Like these little, uh, the salvage edge of fabric that has the color code number stuff on it. I guess that's what it's called. I have no clue. I'm so clueless when it comes to anything to do with sewing. I mean, I can sew a straight line for a journal type paper and whatever, but I am not. That's just because I taught myself. <laughs> I've never had anybody, like, teach me that stuff. My sister tried to teach me to sew, but my patience level is zero, so. The color swatching on there. That's kind of what it is, right? Maybe I want that over the top. Since it's more bulky like what do we think about that i think that's kind of fun here it might help if you could actually see it huh i need more light up here okay so there's those on their way to being something and come in a little bit more too maybe all right what else do we have let's see oh one of these might be fun I wonder if you would even be able to tell. But you can definitely see that pink rose. This is another washy sticker thing. We'll just plop that one down right there. And I always put um, glue on these too. I don't know that they need it, but they're washy. And as we all know, it doesn't always stick the best. So I just do it to make sure... So yeah, I hope you guys are playing along with this challenge. It's very fun and um, you can find it through the hashtag and make sure if you do post something that you use the hashtag as well. That just makes it easier to, to find. We could use a Tim Holtz person. She would be pretty, very pretty in her dress.
Tim Holtz paper doll. That's what it is. <sighs> this little one that says the queen. <laughs> what else do we have? Have a flower. Yeah, kind of just like that little A there. Not a ton of pink on this. Maybe a little, let me see what we got so we could have a little more pink because those are pretty light. They're hard to see. It's there, but Just a, yeah, something like that would be fun. They're just random. They're very, very, like, eclectic, random, whatever. They're just stuff brought together, which a lot of collaging and things like that are like that. They don't even necessarily need to go together. They just are brought together. to do like that and then when we put this one over it'll help hold on to that lace too and then when I glue these down I add a little glue too you could do this on uh, business cards like old business cards too I have some of my husband's I should get out that he doesn't use anymore Um, and then they could go in pockets or whatever. I mean, these could too. If you added it to like a tag base or something like that, then you could put them in pockets. It's just they're sticky on one side, so. <laughs> uh, without the tag base might be interesting. Did I already do this? I think I did. Oh, I'm forgetting to do my little... Scribbles around the edge, huh? And you could do each one a little different. It doesn't have to be identical to the last one. Kind of hitting her feet, so I'm going to do some more marks under her feet to ground her. You could do uh, stitch lines, you know, make it look like it was sewn. I just like to do this. <laughs> it's my own fun thing I like to do. Okay. Oopsie, would help if you guys could see it, huh? That would definitely help. This flower is pretty. And then, what about a brown butterfly? Something just as simple as that would be fun. You could um, splatter them afterwards with gold or something too, which would be awesome. Because we always love the gold. Millions of ways to make these, that's for sure. And I'm sure you've seen, if you watch, you know, junk journaling a lot. Lots of us have done loads of clusters and things. Because they are just a fun thing to add to a page. Or, you know, um, it's fun to have them made up. And then when you're making pockets... You can just add one to it or, or tag or whatever. I forget all the time to do this. So this seemed like a great way to 
way to use up a bunch. Make a bunch. I should do some bright ones for the gnomes. That would be cute. I'm going to kind of cover the wing just a touch. There. Looks like the butterfly is flying out behind. Um, that's another one out of those books. So is the butterfly. Stick that in there. there. These are my little uh, price tag digital download. They just have different little prices on them in different shapes. And just a fun little thing to add. that. See, and that's not a lot. There's not a lot to that. That's very simple. These are textury. Um, somebody asked if they were like regular glossy labels and they're not. They're very textured. And I just, I would tell you where I got them, but it was literally the thrift store. So can't help you a lot with that. Okay, on to that one there, I think. What do I want to do to it? I could put a line of stamps even. I don't know where this rose came from. It might be, I just really don't know. It was just in my stash. Oh, I should probably put the lid on this before I put it. Yeah, I don't think I like that. It needs more of the I think pink in the background or something. Here's another one of these. These I don't like because they didn't trim them right. And so a lot of times they do have that. This was supposed to be a tag and I tore the top off of it already. But um, yeah, it does. they just leave those edges on there and then they don't look very good. Here's another one of the... Tim Holtz stamps on um, avocado dye. I do like that. What else do we want with it? Flower. Oh, there's a flower there, huh? That'll work. Lace. You really just got to play around with them to figure out what, what you like or don't like. And I just used gray, the, I think it was the gray smoke or whatever, hickory smoke, whatever it's called in the Tim Holtz. Just <clears throat> stamp that. Lost my voice almost there. I like some of the images on these. They just didn't make them very well. There's some little birds right there I don't really want to cover. I don't know that I like that, though. It kind of does need something else, but... It's 
too wide that way. I got some of these little boxes for my junk. <laughs> that says hydrangea. Yes. Almost can't see it with my eyes. Yeah, that will work. That will work well. That's another little Tim Holtz. I don't know what they're called, sorry. And then I dumped them all in the box, of course. And definitely don't know now. And if you like the coffee dye, just, you know, the way they are, you could do some kind of little sketch on them. And that would also be great. I think I need to scoot that up a little. Because uh, the coffee dye is great. It's just I wanted to add other things on there. But you don't have to do that. Kind of like um, Creative Cove. She does the little labels that she sketches on. That's a great use of these. I have this little bunny stamp. That would be cute on one, huh? It's very pink. Very pinky. I don't know where I got those either. Uh, somebody made them. And then I bought them, but I don't remember what the store's name was where I got those. Oh, that's two stamps, huh? I try not to do that. Yeah, I like that. You don't see the receipt, but that's okay. I ended up covering that almost entirely in brown. Good job, Amy. <laughs> it was pink. <laughs> At some point. The only thing that was a bummer about my birthday yesterday was I didn't get to see my son. <laughs> I'm awful, aren't I? It was, it was an awesome day. I had a lot of fun. But I, he, he did text me, so he's a good kid. He just not here. He will be. There was probably like, you're so weird. But it's the first year that I haven't had any kids at home so I'm still trying to get used to that and it is a little bit weird not gonna lie especially on holidays birthdays you know those kind of things because that's those are obviously the special days and you are used to your family being around But it'll just get more that way, so such is life, right? Sad days, as Aiden would say. Um, do I want anything else? I feel like it needs something else, but I don't know what. Hmm. Oh, what about one of these little, or maybe a couple of these? I don't know. I don't like that. One of these. Too many flowers. I don't know. Let's see. I have one cut out that might help me visualize better. No, I like it. 
I'm going to do it. I'm just going to kind of slide some of this glue up here because it's got that little laciness and I don't want it flopping anywhere else. I just kind of want it right here. Okay. How long have I got? 30 minutes. Okay. I do like this. I just didn't love it on that. Oh, I should do some this way. I just realized I haven't done any this way. Will these go this way? I'm too tall. This little one would, this little girl would. She's sweet. And if you don't like people, don't use people on yours. No biggie. I do, so I use them. But you do you, boo. Not for everybody. I can cut some of that off. Maybe I don't want this. I don't know. I'm struggling with that stuff for some reason. Hmm. No, no, no. Sometimes you just have to push away the things that aren't working <laughs> and go for something else. Because it's just like that sometimes. I like the dots up there. I think those are good. Yeah, that would work. I'm, I'm not having odds on a lot of these, I just realized. But I guess maybe since they're stamping and all that, it's sort of like those could be the odds, if you see what I'm saying. This has to go under that. I don't feel like the stamp needs any ink because it's just, it's just good the way it is. This needs glue. Oh, he's stuck there now. <laughs> Guess we're going this way more. <laughs> That's one thing about art glitter glue. Move fast. Because it's not going to be moving for long. Oh my gosh. Can't get a hold of it. Holy smokes. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I have fingernails. You would think stickers would be easy for me, but they're not. <laughs> not at all. It doesn't help when I've got like an inch of glue and junk stuck to them. Okay, maybe not an inch, but a lot. Got real carried away with the glue there. Maybe we will have her over here. Yeah, that would probably work, huh? Do we want this one? <laughs> Tiny stuff. Yeah, that'll work. Obviously, some are better than others.
I gotta go figure out where my cat is. He's outside. He is just a troublemaker. I gotta tell you, it's like having a toddler. You gotta constantly, well, I wouldn't leave a toddler outside, but you, you know what I'm saying. It's just constant. Constant, constant. He's always into some kind of mischief or other. He's having too much fun with that squirrel out there. He had it up in the tree again yesterday, and the squirrel would come almost all the way down the tree and just look at him, and he would just look at the squirrel, and then Pasha would just move a muscle, you know, and up the tree the squirrel would go. And then he'd come back down, and he'd stand there and look at Pasha. <laughs> Pasha would look at him and make his little da 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 you know. And then... Make a move, up the tree you go. I mean, they did that forever. And then finally, I just went out there and got Pasha because I'm like, that squirrel probably wants to, like, get down and go, you know, eat or something. And brought Pasha in the house. No, the squirrel stood out there in the tree, chipping its teeth. And uh, <laughs> that's what I call it when it's going, nee, 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 nee. and um, then Pasha goes back out and they played some more until finally I don't know what happened because I gave up watching but Pasha came back in and I didn't see the squirrel again so I don't know if the squirrel like jumped onto the fence or I have no idea but anyway goofy goofies those two I think squirrels like to play like I think they they like that Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Can you tell? La Rosa Magnifique. It's magnificent. There's a pink butterfly. It's not really the right color of pink, though, for that. So I don't like that. She's too tall. I don't know. I don't know. I do like La Rosa Magnifique. Got this 1920s ladies in a car all in their hats and whatnot. And there's like a bunch of them in there. What is it? Two? Is that three right there? I don't know. Six. Six of them all together. That one might work. That works. Uh, this came out of those things from Amazon, those cheap ephemera sets. So did this. Some of it I like a lot. Other pieces, I'm like, mm, not so much. I've used up all my brown mushrooms, or I would have done more mushrooms. <laughs> Didn't have any pink ones, so... Had to rough that up a little bit. It needed some roughing up. Okay. I'm going to put La Rosa Magnifique right here. This is next. Get a hold of it and hopefully not get a bunch of mucky fingers on it which might be easier said than done. Thanks for hanging out with me, whoever's still here. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, Y'all are my rock, let me tell you. All of you that tolerate me for this long, wow. Gotta get to the end. Oops, let's go back this way a little. Sorry, got a big old glue glob. Okay. Does it need anything else? It's good. Maybe. What is 
this. It's just a little Class C. Sure, let's have it. It's pink. Good old Tim Holtz. What would we do without that guy, honestly? All right. I did it. The whole page. We have coffee brown, actual coffee, <laughs> and pink. So let's see here. Let's get our little light up here where we can use it. Oh, oh, oh. So these two are this direction, and all the rest are that. Oh, I'm going to have to go around them all with pin, but you guys get that idea. I don't need to stand here and do all that. But they're fun. Aren't they fun? And then you just take them off and put them on a page or on another piece of ephemera to decorate it real quick, like a book page pocket. Just slap it on there, and it's done. Love it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for all the happy birthday wishes. I love you guys. You're so sweet. And I will chat with you again on Monday. Talk later. Bye now.